first came into our school with the plans of the future of St John Vianney, it was a, a very beautiful plan to see on paper and it was quite hard to imagine the concrete and the squareness of the quad and watching the progress of the children and your staff working together as a team has created a beautiful, beautiful scene for us to look out of our building, for our children to look at it. And when we need quiet time, you've developed an area that has proven to calm children. It, at one stage you go out there and the children be quite heightened, whereas now when you go out they walk around and they have reflective time. It's changed their thoughts, I think, when they go into the area that you've created it. There was, no, there was some plants there in the quiet area, but now it's an open space, quiet area, and it's beautiful. So it, it has worked. This, and I've noticed when we sit down as a staff, we sit and have our lunch in the Rainbow Building, and it's really pleasant to look out at the quad area. And the staff are making comments like, oh, it's beautiful to look at. It's lovely to see the willow, how it's grown and developed, and the plants. So we watch actually from things from going from small, a small project into a large project, and everybody's noticing and saying it looks beautiful, it looks wonderful. Uh, the governors have actually mentioned when they're walking up to meetings that it's a remarkable area, and the project worked. It really has. Uh, we started with a, a wide range of materials uh, from 2D, 3D, uh, lots of walls, lots of papers and cards and the children worked on their own individual pieces. Uh, following that, Ian took a load of photographs of the pictures and uh, distorted the colours and things like that and then returned to the group with those. And then from that, we all began to work on one piece of paper, taking those ideas and turned into one piece of art that the whole group produced together. The impact that they had was uh, a set project within a, small, a smaller time frame than usual and it was a project that we all contributed together. A project whereby all the children uh, began with their own ideas and then gradually swapped ideas around uh, with each other, developed the ideas with each other, and then put the piece together as one final big project, which has then stood inside the school grounds. And I think that was an important aspect of it, really. The idea was that we worked together as a team shared ideas, developed each other's ideas, and then um, the art piece stands within the school as like a, a monument to this cooperation and this um, harmonious working together, if you will. The first morning that I came in and the picture was mounted at the bottom of the stairs, the effects, it really made me so elated and happy, and especially that a group of our special youngsters had worked together collaboratively to create such a, a wonderful piece of work. In the second project we did, uh, it was called Self Boxes, and the children were given uh, a choice of various boxes, which they were um, encouraged to decorate the outside and the inside. And we talked about how the boxes reflected ourselves and the outside of the exterior that we present to people, and then the interior of our feelings and our interests. And that was discussed throughout the project as a uh, pastoral ther therapeutic aspect of the, of the process. So tell us about how you made that. Um, so it's a pink box outside, but not in the inside. Difficult getting the materials. Did you know what colours you wanted to use? Yeah, I used purple, my favourite colour. And I also <coughs> put the orange thing inside the box. And I also put papers that have writing on it. And what does the writing mean, or what was the writing about? I just thought, I love you. When you were painting it or making it, you were happy. Make you happy. Anything else you felt? I felt scared. Ah. And why are you scared? Because I don't know if it might work. But do you think it's work now? Do you prefer it open or closed? Sometimes open, sometimes closed. Okay, I thought, well, I thought, well, I might as well try and do something that's a bit creative. So I made it basically full of exploding emotions. Uh, it's a lid full of buttons. 
like they're a bit edgy on the outside and then the inside it's got a woolly centre with a soft cushioning. So I made the um, one of those boxes there with the feathers on. Some random decorations or anything like that. Yeah. Mm. Together. So how does that make you feel when you could see all your friends work and your work together? Um, helpful. Very helpful. Kind. Nice. It's a lovely idea to work all together, you see. Mm. And you like that feeling of togetherness? Yeah. Of course. Of course, yeah. And then the final piece, so this is now on display. Yeah. And so all the school, I assume, will see it. So yeah. how does that make you feel? But everybody's going to see you. It feels like I'm outstanding. Outstanding. You feel outstanding? Yeah. Yeah? That's well, I uh, put a lot of glitter, paint there. Pink, white, and all the blue glitter. Yeah. Brilliant. And um, the other pieces as this well? This one's the, the green glitter. So it's Different colours of feathers. Hang on a minute. Since last September, when we came back and we were uh, started to work with ETS and One Education, the improvements around the school have been immense, really. The, from the, the, the willow weaving that is now growing and taking on a life of its own, to the artwork that have been involved, has really improved not only the environment, but also helped with children's attitude and learning and behaviour. Our ex-members of staff came in on Friday and we were having a chat about the development of ETS and she was saying that the lady across the road who owns the hairdressers, as her clients have commented on how beautiful the gardens look at the front and they've asked for like who's done it, they've said that you know they could sit there and look at it all the time. The lady who owns the hairdressers has said she wishes they don't, people don't park the cars there so when she looks out the window that she can see it all the time, it's that beautiful. Oh. Um, and the wider community uh, of the school across the road from us, they would like some inspiration from ETS in their school too.